Sun UAC has formed this evening uh, in the South Pacific, not too far from Vanuatu. A tropical storm with winds of 50 miles per hour right now. It's at 15.9 degrees south, 163.1 degrees east, west of Vanuatu, northwest of New Caledonia. 50 miles an hour, 80 kilometers per hour, that's 994 millibars right now as well with the pressure there. Moving south-southeast, the CDPS stage 4 due to possibly 250 millimeters of rain expected on New Caledonia. This is the CDPS looking at a potential landfall late on February 11th or early February 12th, which is what we have listed here. As you can see, the rainfall potential eclipses everything else to do with the storm, although the wind factor could still be significant too, with a potential hurricane force landfall on the cards here it is right now though its current position as we've already seen and the wind field which is uh, spreading out towards the east there not too far from those islands of Vanuatu but the uh, tropical storm force wind should be just offshore 239 miles west of Ilia 275 from Luganville 330 from Kumak 364 from Port Vila and 493 from Numea the largest city in New Caledonia Cyclone warnings starting to come into effect for the northernmost islands and cyclone watches for a large part of New Caledonia. Here it is right now, 50 mile an hour winds. This is how we've come to the conclusion, mainly based on ASCAT observations, which got 50 miles per hour earlier. Interestingly, uh, ADT values quite a little bit higher right now as well, around the 60 mile per hour range. The track forecast over the next five days takes this storm towards the south or possibly south southeast. Interestingly, um, there is some divergence in what the models are saying. Uh, this is mainly based on the GFS solution. Uh, the JTWC's forecast is calling for a landfall on New Caledonia as a Category 1 in about two days' time. So that's something we really need to be watching out for. But at the moment, our track forecast takes it into the Coral Sea and the cone of uncertainty not too far from the coast of Queensland and New South Wales, Australia. Here is a graphical depiction of what we're expecting over the next few days. Again, this is the GFS model, other models saying different right now. Um, I think the main takeaway from this is that the western part of New Caledonia looks like it's not going to get away from significant storm conditions and heavy rainfall. The rest of the island remains to be seen, but I would say probably will receive tropical storm conditions. Certainly with the heavy rainfall, central parts may get the most. Again, up to 250 millimeters of rain with higher amounts in isolated areas. And you see there the bulk of the storm, that's the uh, moisture associated with it skimming past the coast of Australia and headed towards New Zealand actually next week. Sea surface temperatures very warm surrounding this storm right now. It will certainly fuel it for a good few days yet. Temperatures there in Fahrenheit 80 degrees around 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, here it is on the wind speed depiction. So the green areas there, that's tropical storm force winds. The yellows there, hurricane force just offshore. But again, that could move onshore if the storm moves further east than what the GFS is saying. And again, possibly hurricane force just passing the coast of Australia there, drifting off towards the south. HWRF is the most bullish model of them all right now, calling for a Category 3, 115 mile per hour winds. Most of the other models calling for borderline or just about into Category 1 range. Wind shear will, will take a sharp rise as we get towards uh, the later part of the week, middle to late part. Sea surface temperatures not going to be an issue. And there you are with that model spread. HWRF also wants a further west scenario too. So it's interesting to see that um, disagreement in what the forecasters are going with right now. So here is the latest satellite imagery of the storm. You can see they're possibly uh, uh, displaced to the south and west. Um, all that bulk of convection which is blowing up quite nicely actually and that's why the ADT values, the satellite estimates, are a little bit higher than what, what it might be. ASCAD of course got uh, winds again of around 50 miles per hour earlier. But it looks like it's a good start for this storm and further intensification on the way and those in New Caledonia should be preparing for a landfall in the next two days. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us of course on our YouTube channel so it's Force 13 and also on Facebook and Twitter Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join.
with a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.